What's a puzzle hunt? Well, think of a scavenger hunt with puzzles. Competing in a puzzle hunt is a great way to stretch your mental muscles, bond with your teammates, and have a ton of fun. And all you need to play is a few teammates, creative thinking, and a smartphone. I always wanted to create something in Bellingham that would be like the Ski to Sea, but that would, instead of having the bronze, would have the brains. The basis of the um, puzzle hunt was that we wanted all these people to be able to go around and solve puzzles as teams. That would require lots of different disciplines, like the Ski to Sea race has lots of different talents, physical talents. They had to have a smartphone, they had to scan the smartphone to get access to a puzzle, and then when they finished solving the puzzle, they had to enter the code words that they had solved into the smartphone to stop the clock. And we thought at first, you know, if we can, it's our first try, if we can get 30 people to come, that'll be good. And of course, we were really surprised. <laughs> Nearly 350 people uh, registered for this event and showed up and, and the system worked. And uh, so, I mean, that's, it's been absolutely mind boggling here. Everyone was on their phones and I clicked go and then everyone's phones <laughs> got the first message and they all looked up and were like, okay, and, they all, and they all everyone dispersed at the same time. It, it was, was amazing. so amazing. The people were just really engaged. I mean, people thought it was really, really fun. It that was, was the, the was big thing. It was so fun. Yeah, I, I remember the whole day very quite vividly. There's a lot of technical challenges that arise when you suddenly want to time how long it takes someone to solve this puzzle. How do you kind of enforce the rules, how do you disable people from cheating and things like this. And so I looked at the problem and, and sort of thought, oh, this would be a cool thing to build where people could use their phones and there could be a, a server involved and, and it could all be run on you know this, this system where everything can talk. I mean, I thought it would be fun, but I didn't think it would be as fun as it was. And I was surprised by how creative the puzzles were. My team, we were made up of a design major, a music and education major, a math major, linguistics, and then another math and physics major. So we had people from all across the board. And part of the idea was to get people who are not math, math majors or math oriented to get into the sort of fun, fun part of mathematics, which is the, the puzzle solving. Uh, my name is Helen. I'm a freshman. I'm Pauline. I'm also a freshman. We're on the same team, the Math Friends Forever. Phase one was the music-related uh, puzzle. Phase two was the uh, quotation one. It was a uh, humanities base, which made sense because it was right next to the humanities building. So we had a bunch of different quotes. The quotes were just blank lines. Phase three, we had um, we were given this sheet like a, an 8x8 eight eight square that we had to fold into a 4x4 four four square that was double-sided and we kind of struggled with that one but we did it eventually. We need to get a hint on that one because it was pretty complicated. This one was based on a digital clock. Do you know how a digital clock is made up of like all those little dashes? Each segment was considered like, a, like its own entity and, so, and then we had to do that to form different numbers that when flipped upside down became a letter. And so that was really nifty because you end yeah. up with like three, seven, oh, oh, something or other, and it ends up being flipped over to form Google. We'll all just like I think they were all hard in their own way, yeah. but they were all really fun, which was nice. They weren't like hard in a frustrating way, yeah. but like hard in a fun way. I think the highlight of the day was like getting the answer, specifically like that last five minutes of getting the answer on each puzzle because it was really rewarding. Yeah, but I'm really hoping that more faculty will, will participate because there were only two teams this past year and it was, it was so much fun. I think people would really enjoy doing it. You don't need a big group either, just like grab a couple friends and put a team together. It's not a big competitive thing, you just are there to have fun and solve puzzles. It definitely felt more cooperative than competitive. You don't have to know math, do it. Everybody truly can collaborate on these puzzles. They're so broad and there's an entrance for everybody on that team to shine and that just keeps me that just makes me really happy.